sustainable energy growth in the coming years. To talk further on this, I would like to request the Chairman and Managing Director of Renew Power, Sri Suman Sinhaji, to address this gathering. <laughs> Shri Vyas uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, other dignitaries and industry captains on the dais, ladies and gentlemen from the media, Namaskaram. Bhagavan Nara, it is an honor to be at the AP Government Global Investor Summit. Thank you, Chief Minister, sir, for arranging this phenomenal gathering of industry captains as well as all the people from Andhra Pradesh. Renew is an 11-year-old company, but we have come a long way in such a short time due to the ecosystem and the policy framework of the central government led by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji and the state government under the able leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu ji. Once a policy framework is in place, every industry needs the support of the state governments where projects are being set up. This is where the AP government led by its dynamic Chief Minister excels leading to the excellent response to his invitation to industry leaders from all over India and from foreign countries. As a company, we are already present in Andhra Pradesh in a fairly big way with more than 700 megawatts of wind and 60 megawatts of solar projects already running in the state. Recently, we have repositioned ourselves from being an independent renewable energy producer to being an end-to-end -end decarbonization partner for state governments and also for private sector industries. As a state, Andhra Pradesh is taking big strides in attracting investments in green energy. And you all saw the video that was put up earlier. The state has signed MOUs for green energy projects worth more than 80,000 crores, which will help Andhra Pradesh become an even bigger pioneer in the green energy sector. Recently, Andhra Pradesh Discoms has subscribed to the scheme introduced by the Ministry of Power to clear its pending dues to the GENCOs in a phased manner over 12 installments. With this positive step taken by the government and changes in approach of the Discoms in providing faster open access approvals, revival of interest of the industry has been observed and capacity addition has been boosted under open access in the state. In addition, Andhra Pradesh has recently received three energy awards in the 15th Inertia Award Summit in December 2022. The state was selected as the best state in the country in respect of energy infrastructure and development, and AP Transco as the best transmission utility in the country. This is a very big honor. The New and Renewable Energy Development Corporation of Andhra Pradesh and REDCAP stood as the best renewable energy corporation in the country. The positive measures taken by the state government under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister encourages us and the rest of the industry to further expand our investments and operations in the state. As far as renewable energy is concerned, there are three specific unique factors in the state. Number one, it is one of the very, very few states in the country that has good both wind and solar resource. This is very unique in the country. The second, as we've all heard, the state has been granted number one rank in the ease of doing business for three years in a row. This is really, really a stellar achievement. And thirdly, the leadership of the state, which is so dynamic and so visionary, is also quite remarkable in the country. As a result, I'm very happy to announce uh, our investments in the state of many thousands of crores of rupees in green energy and the decarbonization sectors in AP over the next five to seven years. This will eventually end up being our biggest investment in any state in India. The investments will be in the areas of green hydrogen, pumped hydro, renewable energy generating projects, 
and solar panel manufacturing along with efficient supply chains. We are going to be signing an MOU later today. Uh, this MOU is going to be between the AP government and Renew. And this was made possible in a very short time, mainly due to the visionary guidance of the Honorable Chief Minister, by Jagan Mohan Reddy Garuji. Thank you very much, sir. Once, and I must also add that once they got the green signal from the Honorable CM, the officers of the AP government got everything done at very, very high speed. Thank you all for all of your support in making this happen. In conclusion, I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister and his officers for inviting me to this historic event. This has allowed Renew to commit its largest ever investment in any state in the country. Thank you very much. Dhanivad Shri Suman Sinaji. We now present to you an audiovisual presentation on the automotive and electric mobility sector. Can we have the AV?